Hey, what's up gamers? Skeletal Mystic. Are you one of those players like myself that even on an MMO, you try to go your own way, do your own thing, play it solo, try to figure out how to get all these things done without any help, even though sometimes the point is getting help? Well, if you're like that, this video is for you. In fact, this video series is for you. I'm going to be showing you in this video series how to trap and kill each of the types of world bosses in Conan Exiles solo and if you feel like it at lower level let me go ahead and get started with this and tell you what it is you need and uh get a move on let's see here uh, ba -da -ba -da -da. inventory i'll put this up down there for you all right you're gonna need and you can build this all by the way mostly in sandstone you're gonna need sandstone stairs at least three maybe six that's what the, the variance in numbers here is going to be determined by how flat of a, of a plot of land you build on. Sometimes you'll need a few more of this or a few less of that, depending on the curve of the land that you're making your trap on. All right, th at least three sandstone stairs. Approximately 50 sandstone foundation. Again, you're going to need more or less depending on where you're building the exact trap. You want to try for as flat a ground as possible, but as you know, well, this is the earth and not very much of it's actually that flat. All right, you're going to need at least one reinforced stone gateway or other type of gateway. If, if, you, if there's a lesser gateway that you can build, do that by all means. Now, mind you, I don't mean a door frame. I mean a gateway, one of them great big honking monsters that holds a great big honking gate. Okay. You're going to need a drawbridge. This is the only item that you cannot craft from your own inventory. The drawbridge is made by a carpenter. So you're going to need to have a carpenter thrall set up or have someone give you a drawbridge or however you get it, but you can't build it from your own inventory. You're going to need three sandstone ceilings. That one's pretty much standard no matter what trap you're building. You're going to need eight sandstone fence. This trap setup is for the scorpion, the giant scorpion world boss. I am near one over there. There's one over there behind that great big tall pillar on the map. It is right here. There's another scorpion boss over here by the god site spire right next to that. And there's a third. This, these are the three that I'm aware of. There's a third that is down here close to this ridge line on the bottom. You see where Center's Refuge is at? This ridge line right here next to it. There'll be one right there next to the cliffs. It'll be very close to the uh, the Tower of the Bat and that Darfari encampment. All right, so that's the three that I know about as far as scorpion bosses. Let's go ahead and get this trap set up so you guys can see what we need to do here. Uh, one of the reasons we're going to have the variance in uh, foundation stones, let's see how this all sets up. Uh, looks pretty, okay, it looks pretty good and flat here. I picked this area mostly because it would be good and flat. You go ahead and set up your basic, and that's going to be 3 by 10. You know what, though? Before we start doing that, let's, uh, let's hand a little, a little problem that I've noticed before. And that is, every once in a while with this Unreal Engine, the gate doesn't want to set on the, the blocks properly. Let's go ahead and build that up right now. We'll build up this area and make sure that our gate fits. Sometimes the gate doesn't want to sit the way you want it to sit. And that presents a problem because then you have to tear some stuff down and start over again. And it's really sort of annoying. Okay. Let me go ahead now and see if the gate will fit ahead of time. I don't think that it will. There's a, there's a fix for that. And that's what some of the extra foundation blocks I was talking about are for. See what I mean? For some reason, it doesn't want to sit that way. So what you can do to make this work is go over here with your blocks, put a fourth in right there. Now, I don't know why it works this way, but it does. Like I said, that gate will sit in the oddest ways sometimes, and the other times it won't. I'll put some blocks here. Now that should give us enough to make our, our gate sit the way we want it to. Is it going down there? Is it going down there? <laughs> it's going down right in the middle. Of course it is. This is the biggest problem making this trap. I do not know why these gates give you so much trouble, but they do. See how it wants to sit like right there on that place? 
but not the other way. Not quite sure why it does that. And it says missing support underneath the gate, and there's it's really there's really not a missing support underneath the gate. This is one of the things I'm talking about with the Unreal Engine and, and some of the builds that you have to do. It just doesn't want to work with you. All right, let me go ahead and put some more down here. I'll give it two rows and see if I can get it to go up that way. And this is why I was talking about the extra foundation blocks, like I said. You'll have to tear a few out this way, but it won't be as bad as having to tear out the entire trap to make something work. So this one I set in the middle, and that's no good for me. I need to not set in the middle. See how it wants to set on the ends of the blocks like that? Oh, I just had it a minute ago. There, nope. Okay, there we go. We got it. Finally. <laughs> I finally got it to go. That's what you want. Okay. You want, and this is very important for this trap to work. You want the, the, the foundation frame or the door frame, gate frame, what have you, to sit in between two blocks. That's what you want. And that's, you know, we, we, we wasted a few blocks here. And that's sort of to be expected, to be honest. Break that down. You don't have to break all these down you can have you can leave like a little extra back here if you want to uh set up a, another another object you know a shelter or a well or what have you you don't have to do that right, right, right that way but all right, let's go ahead and break this down and the reason that you want that to set in between like that is because if you set it in the middle, the drawbridge doesn't want to seem to work. I don't know why, but the gate has set on the very edge for the drawbridge to actually uh, connect to the gate. All right, you want, now that you've got that put on there, you can you can dismantle these blocks, and it leaves the gate right there on the edge. Good and good. I'll just go ahead and take that one out of there. It'll be easier for later. Like I said, you can have those in there or not. That doesn't matter. All right, this is what you want. You want that gate to be setting on the direct edge just like that because that will make the drawbridge work. Okay, so we've got... Let's pop, pop these out here too. Okay, so you want, for this flat area, you want it four by three. Okay. That's going to be your capture area for the boss in question. You can have a couple of spaces this way. You could use a few more if you want it to be longer. That doesn't really make a difference either way. I'll put this up here. And it's very important to have this second la layer for one thing. That way the scorpion will go where you want it to go rather than coming around behind your back trying to beat the crap out of you. All right, there we go. Use your three stairs. Just like that. Now just for this time to show that this trap works, I'm going to lure the, lure the scorpion boss all the way down to this trap. Rather, I already have one prepared over there, but I wanted to show you guys how to build this thing. All right, so five. So you want your ceilings right here. Your ceilings catch the uh, drawbridge. They, they catch the other end of the drawbridge. Like this. There you go. That's what the ceilings are for right there. It gives a little connection for the drawbridge right there. And for some reason, this is, this is the good trap. This is the trap area right here where these boards are loose. You'll see in a minute here what happens with the boss. 
Okay, the uh, pieces of fence go in like this. I always turn the pieces of fence in. It used to be those uh, blunt spikes on there wouldn't hurt you, but these days they do. So I always turn them in, so I, hey, what the heck, hurt the scorpion and not me. So we got this here. Come around here, turn this over. Just like this. Now, in the old days, I, I even got a few extra blocks left over. How about that? In the old days of making this trap, we'd put a yog pit in there down below the drawbridge, and the scorpion boss would just fall in and instantly die. And I mean, that was beautiful. We, it was wonderful. We loved it. But I think that the devs saw one of these videos and said, hey, hey, we like our world bosses. They're supposed to be tough. They're not supposed to die instantly. So they made it so the world boss was, in, or world bosses, were impervious to the yog pit. Same thing with the spikes that we used to put down here. We used to put spikes down in here too. Now it doesn't matter how many spikes you have in there, only one spike will make the boss bleed. So, and, and that, if you stand here and wait, you could die of old age, for real, before that boss dies from bleed. You'll die of bleed real fast. Believe that. You will. But the boss will take forever to die of bleed. So I don't even bother with spikes on the newer trap. I don't even, don't even waste your time with it. I mean, you can put it in there if you want to, but like it, it'll just be more hazardous to you than anything else. All right, so you've got your trap built. This is what the trap looks like. Again, I'm trying to hit from all angles. You got two here, you got, then a ceiling, then you've got the four flat spaces, and you've got the two back here, just to give you room to work. All right, that's what the trap looks like. You can put, again, you can add some more back here and put on a well or a shelter if you don't have sandstorm mask or you know torches anything any kind of decoration you want you know any, and as a matter of fact the more foundation block you have the longer the decay timer will be so you can build it a little bigger if you've got the room or if you feel like doing it all right let me go ahead and get my weapons up here and my harvest tool And get my water back down here because I'm probably running low on water. Yeah, I am a little bit. All right, there you go. That's back to my normal limper. All right, let's go ahead and lure that boss over here. And you guys will get to see what's going on with this guy. <clears throat> what I'm doing here to make this work. Got a couple of little baby scorpions down the way. Yeah, little baby scorpion here, buddy. And get smacked. I meant to leap away, but that, that, that didn't look very graceful, but I can be more graceful about it. There we go. Okay, so they're out of the way. Let's go ahead and do this. What I normally do, here's my regular trap for those of you, again, who are interested. It looks pretty much the same. I'll hop over here real quick for you to look at it. Got a few torches. I've got a fence back there, which I'll explain later. And I had spikes in this original trap. All right, let's go ahead and pull this boy down here and get him working. I always like to lure him from a distance because, boy, for a short-legged scorpion, he's got a long, long lunge on him. Follow you. Turn that off. We don't need a bow now. Here he comes already to just chomp your, your nethers there because he's ready to go. Says they look very delicious, I guess. Come on, Bobby Ray. Get down here. This is where I went, man. You can very easily... Let him get away with him. Okay, see, he's get busy. There you go. Come on. No, no. Here I am. Come on. Sometimes you gotta lead him. He's, he's fast, but not very bright. There you go. He, he, he fell right into the trap right there. Now leave in this on this boss. You're gonna leave the drawbridge down. Leave it down. Leave me. <laughs> you want to leave it down? All right. Now at this point, you've got him trapped. You see his tail sticking up. His hit boxes are all below you. His lunge, his tail swing, his bite, everything is all below you. So you can't be hit here. The problem that you might that you may encounter this I've seen this a few times and boys, it's a surprise when it happens. If you attack him from the front, he will just randomly pop up out of there. I don't know how he does it. Uh, I guess it's just part of the part of the glitch, but he will just pop up out of there and start beating the crap out of you. So, you want to attack him from the back. Hit the back of his tail. I'm using uh, Envenom daggers, so I'm getting bleed and poison damage. 
and just keep hitting him from the back. As long as you hit him from the back, he won't he won't pop up out of there. You can stay here all day, and he and he'll take his beating and not uh, not get you. Okay. I set up my max stacks of poison, and then bleed and and bleed too. And then I count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 6, 1,007, 1,008. Right about, right about after that is when the bleed and, and poison start to fall off. So you give it about 8 seconds every time if you're using this weapon. If you're not, if you're a, a newer player and maybe you've just got an iron sword or a steel sword or something like that, you're going to want to make sure that you bring enough materials to repair that weapon or bring extra weapons. Because this boy's got a lot, a lot, a lot of health. And he will totally uh, wipe out one of your weapons or two of your weapons just to kill him off with with just anything, any kind of a lesser weapon. I won't use this weapon up, but it's expensive to repair it, taking a fragment of power. So I just, uh, I let the poison and bleed do their work and hit him as little as I have to. I'm going about eight seconds at a time. I'm not counting right now, so. Just going on while I talk. And yeah, it's going to take a minute, even with... And this is a pretty powerful weapon. This, this, this Envenom Dagger is a pretty powerful weapon so far as everything else goes. A couple hits and, and it's poison and going down. This guy, of course, is the world boss. Takes a minute. Go ahead and just keep doing maintenance hits on him. That's all I'm doing here. And as you can see, he's just hanging out down there, having tea or whatever, minding his own business, and not, more, most importantly, not beating the living crap out of me. Swing and miss. <laughs> All right. About eight seconds every time. You can see he's already halfway down in life and I haven't been touched once. Same thing if you're level 15 or less. You can do this. Uh, if you have a, uh, a realm or a server where people know about trap building, then you, you can probably use already established traps. But if not, well, you can go to drone. See, I almost, I almost let that poison fall off. Poison will fall off faster than bleed, but poison will also do more damage than bleed over time. Yeah. Swing to miss. There we go. Just keep him going. As you can see, that his, his health bar is going down steadily. It doesn't look like each hit. Let's see what I mean. I let it get off there. Yeah. It doesn't look like each hit is doing much, but that poison and bleed, boy, that is a force to be reckoned with. That That's what the thing that makes these daggers, people like, uh, oh man, why don't you just use the Sword of Krom or uh, the Blade of the Adventurer or what have you. They do a lot, a lot of damage. Yes, they do, but you've got to swing just as much and you degrade, degrade your weapon faster by doing that damage manually rather than just letting it bleed in. You can see how it's just, just from doing this uh, at, on a time basis, how much my daggers have gone down hitting this guy. That's how much life we're talking about here. They, honestly, just like all bosses, they got way too much life and you got way too little to work with. Just keeping those maintenance hits up. He's almost down. Hasn't even offered to come up and hit once. I'm gonna try to time this so I only hit like one and save a little bit of my dagger there. There we go. Coming down, steadily down. As you can see right now, we're, we're down to the point now where his health bar is, is like visibly sinking. So then watch it tick. And what, with these daggers, once you get down to about that point and he's still got full bleed and poison, you can just quit because he'll die from the, ble from the bleeding and the poison. And, set, and there he goes. He's down. Come down. He's going to make me wait for the skeleton key, apparently. There it is. There's the skeleton key. All right. If you want the feral flesh, great. If you want the chitin, great. Uh, otherwise, you don't really have to fool with it. I just do this to uh, take care of some thrall stuff and to get that skeleton key for those special weapons. Let's go up and see what we got and then we'll go ahead and end the video. 
That is the trap from the side, in case you're interested. Do a quick, here, let me do a quick pause view for, for you. There you go. So you can see it from the side. That's what it looks like, in case you're wondering so far as dimensions go. We go up here and click our item and get gone. Water up. See what we got. You, you, of course, you got. I know you guys want to see what I got out of the box. So, up here. I have to climb it, apparently. There we go. And I got a. The white blade. Which I will probably trash because it's, as far as I'm concerned, one of the lesser weapons. Alright, guys, that is it. That is how the Scorpion World Boss Trap is built. Let me turn, turn around. Get a nice out shot there. There we go. That is how the Scorpion World Boss Trap is built. You too, as a low level, can solo any world boss in this game with the right trap. This is the one for the Scorpion World Boss. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, share. Yell my name to the heavens. Name your firstborn son or daughter. Skell is good for either one. I promise it really is. After me, because I would love to have that. And until next time, this is Skellum Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace.